Hey, how we doing guys? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, another little tutorial today. It's probably going to be a bit of a longer one if I'm brutally honest. We're going to tackle a more up-to-date video of the triple screen setup for American truck and uh, Euro truck. So, just a little uh, background and a little heads up. I don't... Uh, <laughs> I'll be real, I don't do the calculated version, so there's a multiple ways to do triple screen on a Euro truck, an American truck. Uh, this is currently my desktop that we've got set up right now that you can see. So this is just my desktop, it's just my screensaver, but it gives you an idea of what I see an American truck. So there's multiple ways to do it. Uh, it uses a thing called Multimon, uh, and obviously... You've got different modes which I'll run through and I'll try and give you as much background as possible. But to start from scratch, as a lot of people don't realise, is you need to plug your screens into your computer and then from there you need to use some software to set them up. I use NVIDIA Surround. If you're not a Surround user, I can't help you. I've used it from 2012. Generally had very little problems, so if you don't want to use that, that's fine. But if you want to help on this video, you know, that's what I use, all right? So, long story short, we'll set the screens up to start with. So, what you want to do is you want to plug your screens in. So, that could be a display port to display port if you're on monitors. Uh, I'm on TVs, so I'm display port from the PC to HDMI on the TV. Uh, if you're someone like me who runs TVs, you will need what's called an active display port adapter. Uh, you probably they're going to be about 25 30 pounds uh, if you buy the really cheap ones you won't get a good resolution and you won't get a good frame rate uh, it won't allow you to pick it so make sure you buy a decent quality active display port adapter if you want to run tvs that's what i use so long story short we're going to run into uh we're on windows 11 unfortunately <laughs> i definitely preferred windows 10 so we're going to open up the nvidia control panel uh, so once you've plugged all your screens in, uh, you're gonna all your screens are gonna be multiple set up. Mine are already set up, so you know. But I'll show you. I'll give you a rough idea how to set it up. So you want to come over to Nvidia Surround. You want to click Configure and set up the uh, Nvidia Surround. You want to click One by Three, and then you want to obviously select your screens. Uh, as you can see, mine says Hyacinth Hyacinth 4K. Uh, Capture Pro. I use a stream PC, so mine's slightly different, but you get the gist. So, depending on what resolution you're on, normally it would give you your recommended resolution here. Just a heads up for any of the triple 4K guys. Uh, if you see this 12,288, that is not triple 4K. I don't know why it does it. Someone in the comments is probably going to tell me, and that's fantastic. I don't know. All I know is trip like single 4k is down here which is 3840 by 2160 if you do three times 3840 you'll get 11520 right so if you are on triple 4k's just bear that in mind you want 11520 by 2160 if you're on triple 1440p monitors which is 2k you want 7 680 by 1440 and then obviously for the 1080p boys you want 5760 by 1080p so these are all your resolutions all you want to do is click the one by three highlight these make sure you put the monitors where they need to be so as you can see for me uh, i've got number three on my left which you can't see but number three is on my left number one's in the middle number two's over there so all you want to do is enable enable them uh, and then you want to click apply so for anybody who doesn't run bezel kits, you will put the bezel correction in. You just click on here. It brings you up a little a little screen over here, uh, and you can line your bezel up. I don't use that. Uh, you can't use that if you run bezel free. Uh, if you run no bezel kit, you can't. Sorry, if you run a bezel free kit, you can't run that. Uh, so, yeah, I don't use bezel correction. Uh, I, again, don't need to. So the other thing I'll help you with is your resolutions obviously are in here. When you first start, if you're on triple 4Ks, some of you guys won't have the resolutions I have. Just a heads up. <laughs> this is what you want to click on. This is your active and inactive 
uh, resolution box. So if you're on triple 4Ks like myself, you'll probably find you'll only have 12 to 8, 8 by 2160 and it'll be over it'll be it'll be the only one you have these two will be over here so the main resolutions i run is i run triple 4k which is 11 5 20 by 2160 and i run triple 2k because it just runs better uh which is obviously 7 8 40 uh, sorry 7 6 80 by 1440 so yeah they're the main resolutions you'll run so once you've got all this sorted, you've picked your resolution, you've selected what you want, you've picked your hertz rate, I'm limited by me, me capture card, unfortunately. So then you just want to enable it, and then what will happen is you will get this box here, and then you will have your triple set up. Uh, that's the basic bones of it. So then what we want to do is you want to then set up your triples in uh, American Truck or ETS. I'm only, I'll only show you on American Truck because they're both the same. It's both the same game. So what you want to do is you want to come down to your config file uh, and you want to open your config file up. So let me try and make this bigger for you. So yeah, what you want to do is come down to your config file, which is here. So that would be uh, my documents. American Truck Sim, Config, open it with Notepad, and you'll get this box, right? So, basically, what you're looking for is the Multimon section. So you want to come down here, and you'll find Multimon, right? So, I don't do what the other guys do. A lot of people run the calculator. I'll show you, I'll show you that as well, but I don't use it. Uh, I use Multimon Mode 2, which is this one here. And I use set my multimon mode FOV to zero. That's all I do. So multimon mode two and zero. Just to give you some idea. So with multimon on zero, so if I turn multimon mode to zero, zero is nothing. So that's no triple screen rendering. So that just stretches the image across all three screens, right? So multimon mode one is no triple screen rendering. It still stretches the image. However, it puts all your menus on your center screen to make life easier so you're not having to look over here and you're not having to look over there. So, Multimon Mode 1 is just no triple rendering. Multimon Mode 2 is triple screen rendering. So, that gives you, that renders each screen separately, which is what I use. And then you've got Multimon Mode 3, which I think renders, it still gives you the triple rendering, but it also gives you a third screen, which is like your kind of your gauges and your pedal cam. And then four is for the calculator. So, before we go any further, uh, if you have enabled Multimon Mode 4 before and you're somebody who has messed about with it a lot, you will have a Multimon config file in here. So in, in here, you will have a folder that says Multimon.se or whatever it is. Delete it. If you want to do my settings, delete it. Uh, if you don't want to do my settings, that's fine. You want to do your calculation settings, that's fine. If you have a Multimon folder in here, it's a little file called Multimon. It, my settings will not work while that is in there. You would need to remove it. But just to make sure you know, all I do in here is for my simple settings, I do Multimon Mode 2. I do FOV Horizontal at 0. That's all I do. So that's the only two settings I change. So what we'll do is we'll fire up the game so i can quickly demonstrate and i'll show you your settings so once you've got all this done you've got your triple screens turned on in your resolution you've done your multi-mon mode so then all you want to do is you want to get to your main menu and once you're in your main menu uh we all we need to do is select the resolution and then set up our camera and and that is it i mean a lot of people seem to make it very, very complicated. I try and keep it as simple as possible. Uh, again, I play Euro Truck and American Truck quite a lot. Uh, so I try and keep it simple. So what you want to do when you first come in is you want to come to the options section. You want to come to your drop down menu. Uh, I'll change mine anyway because we're on 1440 at the moment. But yeah, you basically you want to drop down the menu. You want to come down to your triple screen res, whatever that is for you. Pick which one you want. Uh, obviously, you want to just enable that, apply it. That's it. And then all you want to do is you want to go into your truck.
Right, so I'm just gonna turn this down a bit. Right, so you're in your truck. I'm gonna give you some daylight just to make life easier. Right. So you're in your truck and now you want to set up your actual screen. So let me pull into somewhere where you can actually see. So you want to make your screens look like this. So as standard, basically what will happen is, so I'm going to turn off that fire. So basically as standard, what you'll do is you'll come into your F4 menu. So what I'm going to do for you guys, just to make life simple for you, is I'm going to reset mine. <clears throat> uh, just to make life easier so if I press R so when you first come in this is what your game will look like so as you can tell massively distorted uh, this is completely bog standard settings so I know my field of view is about 45 so I'm going to hold N I'm going to bring it down to 45 and as you can see it starts to look quite normal so if I bring my view roughly where I sit right so just to give you an idea. So just, just to, to, to show you. So one of the reasons I use Multimon Mode 2 and one of the reasons I use uh, the FOV as 0 is when you activate the FOV as 0, it allows you to adjust the field of view in the game. So in the game, you can see that if we press these two buttons, it changes your field of view. That's not your seat. That's your field of view. So the further back I go, the more this screen will warp. So as you can see, this screen's starting to go that way, whereas we want it to come and we want this dashboard to be straight. So the further in I go, the further this dashboard starts to look normal. I tend to find about 45 is where I'm at. So once you've got your dashboard straight and you've got your, if you look at your, uh, if you look at the, uh, the sun visor across the top, you probably won't be able to see it yet, but let me... Let me pick this up a bit. Yeah, so if you see the sun visor across the top, it doesn't look straight on camera because I'm using the GoPro, but in, in your actual setup, that's what you want to create. You want to create your straight dashboard. So like that tablet there looks roughly straight. And obviously if I come, if I go further in, it becomes like it's coming in on me. If I go further out, it's going out on me. That's all you want to do. And, and that's it. I mean, th there isn't really anything else to show you. Uh, obviously, your, your M and N is your field of view. Your field of view is what distorts this screen. Uh, so you want to get that as straight as possible. Uh, obviously, your W and S are the two that actually, you know, move your seat. So that doesn't move the field of view. So obviously, if I set my field of view crooked, which is like this, moving this doesn't fix anything. This is just a seat movement. It doesn't do anything else. The one that actually helps you is your field of view. As uh, mine's 45, uh, and that gives me a roughly a straight cab, you know, give or take. So if there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. I will be doing some more videos on the bezel correction kit. Uh, I've got loads of little tutorials and that to do. I haven't done a proper triple screen one for a while. Please let me know in the comments if there's anything I missed. I'm not very good at this. I am trying. <laughs> this is what you've asked for. So yeah, let me know in the comments if I can help with anything else. Appreciate you. I'll see you all on the next live stream, man.